하나, 둘, 셋, do it amazing. D R A. 안녕하세요, 다야입니다. Alright, what is up, everyone? Um, today is like a sad, kind of happy day because um, today is the 14th of September, 2022, and today is the seventh anniversary of one of my favorite girl group of all time, D R A. So at first, I just want to congratulate, 축하합니다. Um, even though it has been like seven years, but DIA is, I would say, like without a doubt, like the most talented girl group I have ever followed for like a long time. But they are very underrated at the same time. So today is their um, last day. Even though it's the seventh anniversary, but today they have dropped a new single. So this will be their last farewell song. And I have to say that out of all the like, you know, K pop idols, like Becky A. Bean. Is my ultimate, ultimate like I don't like. The reason is that I was obviously it's her voice, and plus you know that her like everything like charismatic, you know like she's charming, yapada everything. Alright, so so far, okay, so today is 14th. Okay, so it has been about like three hours. Um, the single is out. Um, I'm a bit confused because in the the one the K. Um, channel the name of the single is called the blinding pass and it has been like three hours so far like 10,000 views but when I go to the pop up go like you know like the the website with the app or website you translate the English to Korean and when I, I copy and paste it says okay first of all in Korean it says Okay, I think there's some kind of... Okay, let me rephrase that. Oh, because um, my Korean is very bad. Okay, it says English is called a dazzling day. Um, so I think it's either um, the blinding pass and... or um, the dazzling day. So it means something, you know, like go back to the past and something like that okay and in the mbk extra website so far just 4000 views seriously like it's so underrated okay without the deal let's just start okay let's go to the thingy and let's go seriously i don't know how to intake this it's gonna be my last time watching Daya together okay let's go
I don't know what to say. It has been a while, like, I have listened to any song that. Way good air. Well, I'm trying, trying to let it go. Okay, let's compose myself. Alright. <clears throat> okay. So this wasn't like a music video, it's just like a what's the word, like you know. So like it's just like a collection of all these like music videos, like making music videos from like uh, old days. Like at the first I can see um you know the one in Hong Kong like the the debut song called Somehow in Hong Kong. Um uh, actually that was the first song I I got hooked because okay how I came across Daya was that you know that during 2016 there was a Cheon was in the program called Produce 101 and she got the chance to debut as a one IOI and she was so beautiful so she attracted me and after that I started doing research about Daya and that's how I found them and I have been since like since 2006 for like six years I have been their fan and you know following them all and buying all the albums on iTunes and all the stuff there yeah. oh yeah so the music video is just like they're showing everything from from the beginning and I can you can also see the, the first leader Seung Hin um what's the name Eun, Eun Jin, Jenny, Somi was there and after that they went to On The Road um and after that was like Mr. Porter and after that you know Uwa Uwa and all this stuff and at the end like a full four season thing yeah so I was easily like this is the one of the favorite my, my favorite person my favorite song 
and it's so emotional. Wow, so this is it. So this is so this is the end of their career as a group, not like a solo artist but as a career. So this is the last time we will be seeing them. Um what I want to say is I just want to thank all the Dia members and all the staff, you know, from the MBK Entertainment. Even though they didn't did a good job but still they still believe in them and still they are supporting them and all the makeup artists all the security team all the like you know whoever were there behind this just working for daya to when they were promoting or to you know to help them be a daya even though they were not like because you see that like the girlfriend twice they all did it at the same time but see how high they reach but daya is still in the bottom area just average not like that popular because you know the more popular you are the more album you sell the more concert you do the more money you make and that's how you get the money but yeah so in summary i'm just i want to say thank you to all, everyone all the staff and members for giving us eight such a good memory wow that was a masterpiece I hope this is not the last time we'll be seeing the girl. They, you know, they still have like their own YouTube channel and they can pursue as a um, solo artist. And the last one, you know, the, the game in the release, she released her album. An album, like a solo single, like called Yes I Know. I love that. My favorite song so far is that Yes I Know and you know, they gave me this, um, what's it called? Waiting for You. I love that. Oh yeah, so I think this is it. This is the end of Daya. No more. Tweet amazing because I always used to spend my night, you know, watching Free Life and you know they're interacting with each other, their funny stuff. So yeah. So the, the the last album I got was this one. So four seasons. So I'm I'm just gra glad that I got hands on this last copy of the four season I got both the versions. So this is the last time. Uh, I really wanted to meet, like especially the Kevin for the one last time in maybe in in the future. Oh yeah, so that is it. So this is the music reaction video of Daya's last single. Either you can call it the Blinding Pass or according to Papa Go, it's called the Dazzling Day. It's amazing. Seriously, like the name says, it's amazing. But you know, people they were sleeping on them and they couldn't reach the peak as the suit is a bit disappointing but overall i'm just happy and i want to wish all the best for the future until then and daya sarangi